Hello. Thanks for stopping by. I've got a new painting for you. Although today I wanted to kind of discuss what I do and why I paint it instead of just showing you the time lapse set to some, some nice music. I'll keep the nice music in just in case you want to relax and zone out a little bit. As long as I can remember, I've been doodling something during class, during meetings, you know, times I'm supposed to be focusing on, on something, possibly something boring, possibly something very interesting. Despite how interesting the subject matter may be, my hand wants to do something else. My hand wants to pull away part of my mind into a creative, disconnected realm. Something that's neither necessary nor unnecessary. Something that is for me. I mean, these sketches aren't anything I ever shown anyone before, or really intended to show anyone when I was originally creating them, which is kind of ironic now, as these are the only thing I'm, I'm showing to the world. But when I originally started them, everything was done in pen. Black, blue. Didn't really bring markers or colored pencils to class, it's just usually writing utensils. And the shapes that I'm drawing now always kind of started the same way, where one shape would be put down without really any rhyme or reason to how it was formed. But every subsequent shape after that was almost predetermined by the previous shapes put on the paper. They always interlocked. They always kind of kept the same amount of space around them. And they just kind of meandered across the column of my notebooks. When I started trying to think about what I wanted to create as an artist, and was really challenged by a mentor as to why and what and how and, you know, all the questions that kind of go through an artist's mind. This is the shape I came back to. Working in charcoal, just sketching outlines of shapes. And I had wanted to put these shapes into color when I first started painting years ago, but I didn't have the skill or the drive or really even the thought process to put them down correctly. It's only recently that I really feel like these came into almost what I wanted them to be without understanding what I wanted them to be. It's very subconsciously driven and while I'm painting these I'm not usually thinking about what I'm painting. I've, I've kind of thought out a color scheme just so I don't go completely off the rails while I'm, I'm zoning out, but my mind is contemplating a lot while these are going down. And recently a lot of that thought process has been about my childhood, which is also the original inspiration for these shapes. I remember my mom would often sketch random doodles and take notes on usually little calendar squares from Far Side Comics or Dilbert Comics, whatever was on the kitchen table. More recently, Cat Comics, but that's beside the point. Whatever piece of paper was on the kitchen table, 
which is where she usually took her phone calls. She would just let her hand kind of wander. As almost if her hand had a mind of its own and could just kind of wander across the page. I can't remember exactly what I was doing at this time. Was I eating breakfast? Doing homework? Just sitting and watching? Probably a mix of all of the above, but... It's such a vivid memory. Numerous memories, I guess. Of her hand just kind of wandering across the page. That it kind of subconsciously became a practice of mine. A lot of the things that she did became part of my routine, part of my habit. She was probably the largest influence in my upbringing. She always seemed to go above and beyond to support me and my sister in whatever we were doing. She'd always push us to do more without expecting us to do more. It's kind of an interesting balance, but it seemed to work for me. This framework that she set up of kind of instilling her values in me without expecting me to uphold them can't quite describe it much better I always knew that my life was mine to live and my mistakes and choices were mine to make but I also always knew what she expected out of me So now, with all of her years of upbringing, I'm here, working on my art, trying to find the balance between who I was raised to be, who I want to be. what history has made me into. So as I continue this journey, I'm going to keep flushing out my previous lives, my my upbringing, my experience with friends and family, society, expectations of the people around me, and my expectations of myself. And I'm curious, for all of you out there, what part of your childhood has really made a huge impact on you? What person or event or string of events really sticks with you today, for better or for worse? It seems like so much of our lives have been predetermined by the events of our childhood. It's become such a part of our subconscious that it's hard to really change. So let me know what part of your childhood has impacted you the most. Just leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about it.
of course, if you like this video, consider liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing with your friends. It really helped me out a lot. So I hope you have something in your day-to-day -day that you're really passionate about, something that you love doing, and just kind of engulfs hours every day. I hope if you don't have that, you seek to find that, you seek to live today to its fullest. So have a good one. Until I see you next time.